Hi, and welcome back. And if you've been following along with the previous two videos, you will know that in this teacup here is a product of the last few videos. And I actually printed this one out on a resin 3D printer. You can see here, it turned out pretty good. Um, but I do have one gripe with it, and that is this handle seems quite thick um, in comparison with what I was thinking. So I, I figured we'd go through and, and shrink this handle down. And just for a, a quick, um, I guess, measurement here, the current handle, I shall flip it around there. Current handle is approximately 3.97 inches, or uh, I believe we can switch this to millimeters, not quite there, millimeters. So it is 10.09 millimeters, and I'd like to compare that to uh, what the CAD said it was supposed to be, and we'll, we'll see kind of how good the tolerances are on my 3D printer. Nothing special about this. It was uh, it was printed and it's not super great. I think that's just because the resin had been sitting out for quite some time. You can't really see it on the camera, but there's kind of a bite out of it here where it, uh, it had some layer issues. And then the overall surface finish is pretty poor up until uh, about halfway where I assume the resin was properly mixed by the uh, the head of the machine going up and down, which point it, it becomes much better. So not the best print, but uh, it is good enough. So moving over here, I just want to uh, take a look at this body. So body three, I believe is the one I printed. And this additive pipe here from body two is a, uh, is actually the feature that we're looking for. So let's see this sketch. That is the one. And it looks like the, we have uh, 10 millimeters here. So we were only 0 0.09 millimeters off um, tolerance wise. I think that's pretty respectable. We can, uh, let's see, pull up my calculator here and go 0 0.09 millimeters two inches um, so 0 0.003 inches that is I guess within like a, a standard uh, 0 0.005 inch spec which is I guess standard if, if you're not kind of used to this type of thing so that is that is a pretty good tolerance wise so and I think I'm just gonna have this. So, and hopefully if we set up our uh, stuff in the previous two episodes, um, we should just be able to uh, change this number and have it be nice and quick. So 2.5 would be half of that. Oops, maybe it looks like I gotta get rid of the uh, old period there before it lets me put a new one in. That's okay, so 2.5, we'll close this and we'll see if it, uh, if it has any issues along the way. Awesome. So there we have it. So it was as simple as that. Um, and the reason it was so simple is because uh, we set up our, our parametric properties correctly, I believe. It is possible. Um, let me just check this real fast and make sure we're uh, we're not pull, it's not pulling a, a fast one on us. Let's see. I'll head over to uh, part design because part design has a, a measurement tool in it. And uh, let us see. Um, actually, I'm going to come over here and use the tool measure distance and I'll just approximate uh, the width of this thing. So tool measure distance. Okay. 
to measure distance. I'm going to grab here and I'm going to grab there. And looks like it, it was a, uh, it bamboozled us. Um, it didn't actually go through all the way. So it is possible that this will be fixed with a, uh, the old rebuild. Um, but it looks like that's not exactly the case. So uh, let's hide body three and move over to uh, this additive pipe in body two. And looks like that did get carried through correctly. And we'll just, uh, I'm just going to go through here until, uh, until we see this thing, you know, spit out something funky. So there we have uh, our kind of very, very, very small teacup. And let's see if it uh, did the cut properly and that it did. So I'm guessing it's just having issues with the fillet. And let's see if uh, base feature carried over properly. Pocket was fine, fillet was fine. And it looks like second fillet also good. Third fillet is where it's having troubles. So fillets obviously are, are pretty difficult. Um, they are even even in you know professional programs, fillets tend to uh, break all the time. So I'll just go through here and uh, add these fillets again. I assume that this is the one for the bottom. And then uh, we should be good. You know, and if you wanted this thing to uh, be fully parametric, then I, I believe the solution to this issue is to uh, just not use the fillets. Um, but, uh, you could you could do that, or uh, or you know, we could do this. It is possible that uh, if you had selected one face, it would have uh, continued to fill it all the way around the edge. See if it likes that. It does not like that. I am not quite sure what this first edge we had up here was. It's not like that either. Um, let's see, let's remove everything. And, uh, get rid of everything and uh, we'll see if it likes this. I suspect, um, it's this edge here in particular um, that it doesn't like because those are, are very close together. So is possible it likes that one? No. Let's, uh, let's just go ahead and uh, delete that fillet there. Alrighty. And, uh, We've got a, a teacup. It's kind of interesting. I don't recall uh, putting a fillet on the top there. So it is possible that we are running into the uh, the old topological naming problem um, where our faces kind of got shuffled around and uh, fillets got placed on kind of funky edges. Um, I believe, let's see, wonder where that uh, fillet got added in. So. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't that one. Um, was it this one? Ah, it was that one. And I'm sitting here looking at, uh, at the model that, that is printed and I'm fairly confident it's not got fillets on either of those faces. So I can, I can feel pretty confident in uh, deleting those two. And for this one, I'll uh, edit this fillet here. And 
I don't quite recall um, what these fillets were for, but I'm fairly certain that they weren't supposed to be on that edge. So let's just uh, put it here. And uh, then we'll come back and delete edge 82. Oh, and uh, there we go. So it is able to fill at that corner just fine. I was I was a bit concerned about it earlier. Um, let's see if it can do this one too. Uh, it might need us to select all the way around. This is a fairly complicated geometry. And you know, I I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't be super um, concerned if, if it's unable to fill it the bottom edge here because this is not you know normal operating procedure so uh, we'll just uh, leave it at the top edge there and uh, we'll call it a day so here is a uh, a teacup with uh, I guess improvements in in quotation marks made the the teacup handle is looking uh much much uh let's see i guess more realistic i feel like you know i could probably fit my fingers through there because i mean this this teacup handle is like almost the size of my finger and you know i haven't actually held the teacup in my life, but I suspect that they are probably pretty, pretty thin and delicate. Um, so I, I feel like this is a, a better, you know, like view of a teacup, but um, I'm going to leave it there. And if you want to get rid of this uh, kind of distance that tends to hang out in the air, it actually ends up in your feature tree. You can just hit the, uh, the delete on that bad boy. So I'm going to leave it here. Um, I hope you, you learned something and uh, have a nice day.